the last study of the day, I discussed how arthritis sufferers can notice dramatic improvements in their joint pain by simply removing sugar from their diet. And today, did you know that writing about your life's most stressful experiences can result in clinically relevant improvements in your health concern? Well, it's true. There is a growing body of evidence supporting the idea that resolving psychological stress will result in improvements in both psychological health and physical health. Let's get to it. Hi again, I'm Dr. Ben, and welcome to my YouTube channel. The mission of this channel is simple, to share relevant and interesting evidence-based content that may not see the light of day in the mainstream media, that you can take and implement to improve the health of you and your family. Finding a broad range of tools to heal your body is important to anyone dealing with a chronic health concern. The number one reason why people get stuck in their healing work is a failure to recognize the involvement of the mind in the body. And this is no fault of their own. Every day we are inundated with messages about medications and natural health products that will heal us, that will fix us. And we keep trying them because it's, it's easy. We don't have to change anything about our lifestyle to take a pill. But what do you do when the medication or the supplement doesn't work? And that's where this study comes in. Research has demonstrated that writing about emotionally traumatic experiences has a surprisingly beneficial effect on symptom reports and well-being. So let's take a look at the experiment. 112 patients with asthma and arthritis received the intervention. Asthma patients were evaluated with spirometry and the rheumatoid arthritis patients were clinically examined by a rheumatologist. Assessments were conducted at baseline at two weeks, at two months, and at four months. Participants were asked to write for 20 minutes on three consecutive days. Participants in the experimental group were asked to write about their most stressful life experience where patients in the control were just asked to write about what they were doing that day. Okay, so what did the study show? Four months after treatment, asthma patients in the experimental group showed improvements in lung function. Their improvement was 60, from 63.9% at baseline to 76.3% at the four month follow up. Whereas the, con the control group patients showed, showed no improvement at all. The rheumatoid arthritis patients in the experimental group showed improvements in, in overall disease activity. A mean reduction in disease severity from 1.65 to 1.19 on a scale of 0 to 4 at the 4 month follow up. Whereas the control group again did not show any change. Okay, so what's the take home? Patients with mild to moderately severe asthma or rheumatoid arthritis who wrote about their stressful life experiences had clinically relevant changes in health status at the four month mark after treatment. The control group who was simply writing about their day to day activities saw no improvement at all in any of their symptoms. Okay, so what action can we take from this information? Um, I want you to take a moment and I want you to identify the three most traumatic experiences of your life up to this point. It can be the loss of a relationship, the death of a family member, loss of a job, um, it can even be a traumatic injury. And I want you to take 20 minutes on three consecutive days over three consecutive weeks and I want you to write about this, this experience or these experiences. And I want you to, in your writing, I want you to address three levels of your existence. So I want you to address the thoughts you had around the, the experience, the feelings, the emotions you had around the experience and the body sensations, so the physical sensations that you had around the experience. So for example, if your most traumatic life event was a broken leg in high school, I want you to take the thoughts that you had, or the memories that you had around that experience and write about them. I want you to take the, the emotions or the feelings that you had, the anger, the frustration, um, the irritation. I want you to take the feelings you had and write about them. And then lastly, I want you to take the physical sensations, so the pain or the, 
the aching or the swelling um, or the heat um, or the tingling, whatever sensation is connected with the memory of that broken leg, I want you to, to include that in your 20 minutes. Touching on these three levels of existence, the thoughts, the feelings, the body sensations, will deepen the healing work and speed your recovery. In a very real way, our mind controls the body. You can think of the mind like the, the template for the body. Whatever is held in the mind is manifested through our physicality. So it stands to reason that if we have unresolved emotional conflicts or unresolved psychological conflicts being held in the mind, then our body is going to manifest those imbalances. So this writing exercise is a, is a proven and effective strategy to dislodge some of this emotional and psychological conflict that is contributing to the way we feel, to our health concerns. And what I've found is that it doesn't have to be arthritis or asthma like was used in, in this study. It can be any health concern. It can be low energy, low mood, poor sleep. Um, skin conditions, I find, respond really well to this exercise. Eczema and psoriasis, for example. And like any modality, this writing exercise is most beneficial when it's included in combination with, with other treatments that are being used for your health concern. So for an arthritis sufferer, for example, we touched in our last video about how removing sugar can be really helpful. Um, maybe that arthritis sufferer is, is doing some hot yoga. Maybe they are taking a medication, a little bit of Tylenol, or maybe they're taking a, a supplement like curcumin. Um, but adding a writing exercise to that program will again just speed the recovery and, and deepen the healing work. Thanks everyone for watching this video. If you want to stay up to date with relevant health information, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll, I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks.